What's going on guys, it's BD Legend, and in today's video we're going to be analyzing strategic rushing, specifically why strategic rushing is faster than maxing in Clash of Clans. Now I know my voice is a little bit low today, I'm sorry for those of you that don't know I still have COVID, but this is an important video and I wanted to get it out today because I am feeling okay other than the voice of course. Now just a quick disclaimer, if you are a maxer, please don't take offense to this, this is just something I'm trying to bring out to light for players who are trying to max their entire account faster. Strategic rushing is a lot faster than maxing and I'm going to be explaining why in this video. This video is going to be a first video in a series of videos that is going to analyze strategic rushing. This video is going to be about why it's faster. Then we're going to have actual guides on how to strategic rush so that you guys can max your accounts really really fast and get through all of this as fast as possible. Now I didn't come up with all of this information. The person who did is actually a user named Call Me T who posted a guide on Reddit a few months ago. This is an 18 page guide that tells you exactly how to strategic rush so if you do want to check that out I will leave it in the description. Big shout out to T who is also part of the Clash Tips podcast. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to the podcast in the description as well. You guys can go ahead and check him out. He's got a episode on strategic rushing on there as well if you want to hear it from the mastermind himself but why don't we go ahead and get into the reasons why strategic rushing is faster than maxing in clash of clans now just a quick note strategic rushing it means you're actually prioritizing sp certain things and you have a good idea of what you're going to be upgrading as you rush it also prioritizes hero upgrades so you're gonna have your heroes down all the time it's not just willy-nilly rushing, upgrading whatever you want to upgrade, getting to the highest town hall level as soon as you can get there. No, you're actually going to wait at specific points and not wait at specific points and you're going to be really strategic about what you upgrade and when you upgrade it so that you can max your account the fastest and get yourself as much benefit as you possibly can. So there are several reasons why strategic rushing is a lot faster than maxing. The first reason is because it avoids bottlenecks in the upgrade process. Now anybody who's played Clash of Clans before knows that the lab upgrade time takes a lot longer than the builder upgrade time. If you're strategic rushing, you can actually bypass, you don't even have to worry about the upgrade time differences because you're going to be upgrading at your own markers, right? Whenever your heroes are maxed, for example, or your queen, you're, whenever the queen is maxed, you're going to be upgrading. Whenever you're having resource loss, you're going to be upgrading. Whenever your walls are maxed, you're going to be upgrading. So because you're strategic rushing, you're not worried about the bottlenecks that exist between the lab time and the actual building time. Maxers will spend weeks, maybe months, at a specific town hall level with all of their builds maxed because they're not done with their laboratory yet. This is extremely inefficient and is not going to help you max your account in a short amount of time. So strategic rushing does avoid these bottlenecks and helps you max faster in Clash of Clans. Now the second reason that strategic rushing is better than maxing in Clash of Clans and a reason that a lot of people really don't think about is that you get better use out of your magic items. Now what do I mean by that? Say you have a book of building from Supercell, right? Maybe it was part of an event or part of something. And then you have another book of building from the gold pass. Now you have to use one of those books of buildings, right? So which would you rather use your book of building on? Would you rather use it on a four day upgrade at Town Hall 8? Or would you rather use it on a 15 day upgrade at Town Hall 14? Obviously you would use it on the longer upgrade. When you strategic rush, you only upgrade the actual buildings and things that you need to upgrade before moving to the next town hall level. Then when you get to the max town hall, you're going to upgrade everything until they're one level off max. And then when you get that book of building, what's gonna happen? You're gonna use that book of building on a upgrade that takes 15 days instead of the maxer who's maybe at town hall 11 at that point and he's gonna use it on an upgrade that's only 7-8 days long you can automatically see that there's a big difference in magic item usage. You also get better usage of books of fighting, books of spells, and especially really good usage on hammers because you immediately get really really amazing value because of all the days that you're skipping. Now here's a statistic that a lot of players don't know in Clash of Clans. About 60% of the time it takes for you to max your account from Town Hall 0 to Town Hall 14 60% of that entire time is in Town Hall 13 and Town Hall 14. That means all the years and months and whatever you're spending on the early Town Hall levels, primarily Town Hall 0 to Town Hall 12, is only on 40% of the game. 
you're not making a dent on that 60% because you haven't gotten to Town Hall 13 and Town Hall 14 yet. So if you're strategic rushing though, you can immediately skip major amounts of that 60% of time before the maxer even reaches that milestone. Now guys, that is a huge difference and one of the reasons why strategic rushing allows you to max faster. But if that wasn't reason enough guys, there is another reason why strategic rushing is faster. It's because it allows you to start the hero grind a lot earlier than you would normally. So guys, th this is stats directly from the 18 page document that T had made about strategic rushing. Your archer queen actually takes 396 days to max. All the time that you're not upgrading your archer queen, you're not making a dent in that 396 days. Furthermore, you're not getting good magic item value because you, your archer queen is not level 50 yet guys. So your archer queen not being level 50 means you're not getting good ar good magic item value and if you don't rush to higher town halls, you're not going to be able to upgrade her to that level to get good magic item value. So guys, it's a snowball of effect here. You're going to be able to max your archer queen a lot faster if you strategic rush. Now here, let me give you an insane stat. T, when he did his strategic rushing account, constantly had his archer queen down all the time you know how long it took him to max his archer queen from the moment he started his account like town hall zero you know how long it took him five months that's it he didn't use his archer queen for five months yes but he maxed it now think about that five months how does that make sense if it takes 396 days it's because he got really good magic item value in the later levels because he was maxing his he was strategic rushing he was getting to those higher levels earlier so it allows you to max your heroes a lot faster and start the grind 50 levels of warden guys not an easy thing to do but you can't start it unless you get to town hall 11 if you spend six seven months getting to town hall 11 how are you going to start that it just doesn't make sense guys the next reason why strategic rushing is faster than maxing is because you get more clan war league medals not only do you have better usage of magic items but you can get more magic items as well why is this true let me go ahead and tell you that you're not going to be in a Crystal 1, Crystal 2, Crystal 3 league in Clan War Leagues as if you're not a Town Hall 11. If you're not a Town Hall 11, you're not going to make it to those higher Town Hall levels and because of that, you're not going to get an appreciable amount of Clan War League medals. Now you might be saying, well a rushed base is not going to do well in Clan War Leagues. Yes it will, because all you need to do is upgrade your E-Drags. And your E-Drags are going to destroy Town Hall 10's, Town Hall 9's. And you are joking if you think a Town Hall 9 or a Town Hall 10 is going to be able to easily take out a base that's already got an Eagle and Max Infernos. Because strategic rushing will prioritize the high value defenses like the Town Hall itself, the Eagle, the Infernos, and the Scattershot. I guarantee you this, a Max Town Hall 12 will struggle. They might still triple the base, but they will struggle with a Town Hall 13 that is rushed, but it has max scatters, max Town Hall, and maxed Infernos. That's simply how the game works, guys. Tier 1 defenses are so so powerful that they can fend themselves off. And in Clan War Leagues, offense is super important anyways. The moment you get E-Drags, you have a viable Town Hall strategy. And we're going to be upgrading our army camps throughout, so you're going to have max troop capacity as well. And all of a sudden, you have a really really good outlook even if your cannons are level like whatever six seven it doesn't really matter at that point right because you're going to get more league medals in clan war league which means more hammers which means more magic item usage which means faster progression another reason why strategic rushing is a little bit better than maxing actually is because you get more time practicing viable attacks now look at town hall 9 we all love witch slap but is Witch Slap used at Town Hall 13 or 14? No, it's not. It's not even close to being used. We use Zap Quake, which is at Town Hall 10 and 11 and 12, but, well, actually, we don't even really use it at 12 that much. Town Hall's 10s and 11, but is it used at Town Hall 13 or 14? No. Are you gonna be able to practice Clone Bomb at the early Town Halls? Probably won't work that well for you. Are you gonna be able to do Blizzard Hydra or Blizzard Lalo or a, a reliable Queen Charge Lalo? you probably won't but if you strategic rush and you get to those higher town hall levels earlier you can upgrade the troops for specific army compositions and actually practice relevant attack strategies that are going to be useful in the future as well so you can practice
practice Pekka Smash, you can practice, you know, Blizzard Lalo, uh, Blizzard Hydra. You can practice really, really good strategies that you're going to be able to use no matter what you're doing, right? So because the strategic rushing is actually going to make you a better attacker and a better offensive player. Another reason that strategic rushing is better, and I think we're on like 6 or whatever right now, the another reason that strategic rushing is actually better is because you have a easier time managing your builders and your lab. Say that you get on, you don't have enough resources to do an upgrade right now, you can just put one of the rushed upgrades down and you won't be wasting any builder time. But if you're a maxer and you get on at Town Hall 12 or whatever, and then you have you need you know 10 million gold to do an upgrade and you have 1 million, you're going to have to farm and waste a lot of builder time. It's actually a lot easier for you to manage when you don't have resources um, versus when you do have resources for your upgrades because you're not going to have to do these long upgrades constantly. So it does help out in that aspect and you have less wasted builder time and less wasted lab research time. Now in defense of maxing, of course maxing it really keeps things simple so that you know exactly what to upgrade. You're not thinking about oh for strategic rushing is this better or that better. It is a lot of thinking that's why we have these guides right. But it does take a lot longer and overall strategic rushing is the fastest way for you to max and for you to get to the vanguard of the game where a lot of people are having fun with every single new update and you want to be part of that crew because that's what's going to make the game fun for you. Now I just want to put out a disclaimer like if you guys really really enjoy maxing do what you want to do like you don't have to do this. But simply, it's kind of undeniable that it is a lot faster than normal maxing. But, you know, if you're a maxer at heart, if that's really what you want to do, go ahead. You know, this is a game at the end of the day, and we all want to have fun playing the way it is. But if you are interested in strategic rushing and you want to get to Town Hall 14, max Town Hall 14, max Town Hall 15 as quickly as you possibly can, then do go ahead and check out the uh, playlist that I'm going to have in the top right corner right now. That playlist is going to allow you to kind of go through the guides of how to strategic rush and how to completely get through all of the information. Uh, that you need to get through so that you can start progressing your account a lot faster than people who are maxing their account. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, share with people who are maxers, who are rushers, who just need this information in general, and I will see you guys in the next video.